Hello everyone, this is Ketishia. In this video, I'm going to go through the AQA Combined Science Physics Paper 2 Higher Tier from 2019. Question number 4, which is on magnetism and electromagnetism. Figure 6 shows a wire in a magnetic field. The direction of the current in the wire is shown. So here you have a bar magnet, two bar magnets on either sides facing each other. So you have the north pole of the magnet over here and the south pole. So the direction of the magnetic field is from left to right in this direction. Now I have added an image showing how we can use Fleming's left hand rule to answer this question, which is 4.1. There is a force on the wire due to the current in the magnetic field. In which direction is the force on the wire? So they have given four options. So either from to the right, down, or to the left, or up. So using the image, this image, we can see that if the magnetic field, which is B, is going from in this direction, the current is actually going here, there will be a force acting down on the wire in this way. Right? So the answer will be the second one give two ways that the direction of the force on the wire would be reversed. Now, in order to reverse the direction of the force, either you could change the direction of the current itself, so, or you could actually flip the magnets over or change the direction of the magnetic field. So, your answer is reverse the direction of the current, or re and reverse the direction of the magnetic field. Question 4.3. The length of the wire in the magnetic field is 0. Point, so let me bring it to just focus. 0. 0.05 meter. So that will be the length. The force on the wire is 0. 0.7 to Newton, which is the force. Magnetic flux density, which is B, is 360 mt. This is micro Tesla. Micro Tesla is 10 to the power minus 3. Sorry, not micro, milli. Right. Milli is 10 to the power minus 3. So if I convert that, that will be 0 0.360 Tesla. So it's better to convert it here so we can use it in the equation. Calculate the current in the wire, which is going to be I. So use the physics equation sheet. The equation that we should be using is F equals B I L. So the force, which is 0. Point, 0 0.072 equals 0 0.360 multiplied by the current multiplied by the length which is 0 0.050 so if i rearrange it current equals 0 0.072 Divide that by 0 0.360 times 0 0.050. And that gives me, gives me a current of 4.0 amps. So the answer is going to be 4.0 amps. Next question, 4.4, figure seven shows a simple motor. Explain why the coil rotates when there is a current in the coil for four marks. So when there's a current in the coil, which is over here, right, why does the coil actually rotate? Now, 
referring back to the previous question so with just one wire if it's producing a force downwards if i flip the current the car the force is going to be facing be upwards on this wire so the same thing happens here where one side if this side is actually experiencing a force upwards because the current is going <clears throat> let's say it's very similar to this uh, the previous one so if the current is actually flowing downwards let me use a different color so if the current is actually in this direction there will be a force upwards and let's say the current is actually going in this direction upwards like our diagram above in the first question there will be a force acting down now because the coil is connected by this coil, coil axle is going to rotate because of this opposite direction of forces now the reason this happens is because there's a this permanent magnet has a magnetic field and there's a current when the there's a current in this conductor there's going to be a magnetic field which is going to oppose the magnetic field over here hence there is a force created so how do we actually write an answer for this <coughs> there is a magnetic field due to the permanent magnet and the current in the coil also causes a magnetic field so it's important to state that there is two magnetic fields one which, which is coming from the permanent magnet which is over here right? and the current in the coil also causes a magnetic field the current is in opposite directions in each side of the coil the second mark so forces act in opposite directions on either side of the coil so up and down on either side this creates a rotational force now the split ring ensures that the current in the left and right side of the coil is always in the same direction now this is important for the last mark the fourth mark that brings us to the end of question number four and I will see you in question number five.